we'll just give it a push up. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, ready? Yes. Okay, we'll make something. Thanks, Dave. Okay, um... Okay, uh, 52 cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, now uh, one thing, Peter, you notice uh, the kings and the aces are all in different places. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Notice that the kings uh, are not together, uh, the aces are not together, they're all in different, all over the place. Even the queens and jacks, they're all in different places as well. Mm -hmm. yeah? in, in other words, just an everyday normal, yeah, I mean, there's no funny marks anyway, so it's just a normal uh, 52 mixed up cards. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, and obviously, of course, if you mix them up, they'll become even more mixed up, won't they? Mm -hmm. yeah. Except when I shuffle cards, I, you know, I've got this problem. When I shuffle cards, I seem to end up with black cards in one packet. <laughs> and red cards in another packet. That's why when I mix the cards, I always like to mix the cards face up. Because that way I can see that the cards really are being mixed up. Mm -hmm. So, for example, red and blacks all being shuffled. Yeah. Now, I mean, that really is mixed up, a well mixed up pack, Yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, anybody can see that. Uh, now, do I do it again sometimes, just to make sure? Yeah? But still, I end up with black cards in one packet. <laughs> and red cards in another packet. Uh, the other day, I finally found the ideal solution to this problem. The ideal solution to this problem is just to take two packets of cards, reds and blacks, mm -hmm. and then just simply push them into each other. All right? And then just simply by doing that, the red cards and black cards become mixed up. Mm -hmm. The only trouble is sometimes the, the red cards vanish and I've only got black cards. So now that gives me a different problem. The problem is now how to get the red cards back. The way to get the red cards back is to take away one of these black cards and then the red cards come back. The only trouble is now the black cards vanish when I've got reds. So the other day I was thinking about this particular problem and you know, I, you know, I was thinking about how I can overcome this problem. And the way to overcome this problem is just to give the cards a slap. So I give a slap. And simply by doing that I got myself some red cards and black cards. Mm -hmm. In fact I ended up with an everyday normal pack of cards, red cards and blacks, 52 completely mixed up.